whatever happened to the show? He became a lawyer. <laughs> Sounds like Shangri-La to me now. Oh, that me, six-time winner, halfway brow. Woo! <laughs> me to tell you a tale of real adventure. I couldn't buy a shelter, Thompson. Then you can't compete. What? what? No, hold on there, Ren. There he comes. It's fine. <laughs> Say there, little adventurer. Yeah. Do you have a tale you can prove? Yes, I do. Then let your story be told. Okay. After me. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I'll do it again. <laughs> Relief emergency medical supplies to the victims of a cataclysmic earthquake on the remote island of Krakatoa. I wasn't sport fishing for fun like some members of the club. I was on a mission that only I could possibly. Uncharted waters of the South Pacific, carrying nothing but a pair of cheese sandwiches. What kind of cheese? American, of course. <laughs> well, I did that, didn't I? Oh, by the way, sir, you're healed. <laughs> so everything's going well. I'm fairly careful of feet in the air when suddenly both my engines coughed, sputtered, and died. Damn, Jim. Jim, my trustworthy mechanic, had failed to fill the petrol tank. Oh. Oh. I don't believe Jimmy's a good mechanic. Just dumb as a hedge. So, right, I'm hurtling my way towards the earth, my altimeter whirring around like a Viennese waltz, which I'm great at, by the way. <laughs> and then suddenly, out of the corner of my eye, I spotted a tiny volcanic island with a crater lake. Huh, an easy landing. Well, I definitely slipped them off into the crater, only to set her gently down on what was, in actual fact, boiling hot lava. Ow! He gets. <laughs> what I had thought to be a tranquil pond had turned out to be a boiling cauldron of death. Time for a cheese sandwich. Grilled. <laughs> I watched. I watched hopelessly as my beautiful plane, my beautiful gypsy moth, just disintegrated right there in the lava's heat. <laughs> I wasn't afraid to die, you know that, don't you? Of course you do, I was just sad. Saddened that the medical supplies might not reach the little children of Krakatoa in time. Oh, oh hold me. Oh, okay. oh, that's my better. You You'll never know. Lava, Saint oh, that's the most uncomfortable, shall we? <laughs> no, I didn't walk across the lava. I... No, I didn't walk. <laughs> I didn't walk across the lava later. Okay. Bring your twin sister. <laughs> <laughs> With a camera. With a camera. It's Christmas for me! <laughs> I remember that the tail section of the plane was made of a high grade titanium, clutching the medical supplies to my incredibly hairy chest. I ripped the rudder off the mop and used it as a surfboard to ride the lava and I'm surfing along the stream when suddenly the whole floor of the crater collapsed below me and my life flashed before my eyes to my doom. There was no escape. I thought you had a bad seat, didn't you, Dick? <laughs> but then, suddenly, over there, at the far end of this... Over there, Jim! <laughs> at the far end of this vaulted world was an island gleaming with light. But this, my friends, was Atlantis, the lost continent! <laughs> what did you do with the medical supplies for all those children? Uh, I nailed them! <laughs> Book of matches from the Atlantis Bar and Grill. <laughs> this is your proof.
Earl. Not only that, but in the bar I met Amelia Earhart and Will Rogers. They autographed that for you. Then Isadora Duncan gave me the scar. Oh, this is the most 